Products in this video were provided to the author to do a review. All opinions are 100% authors and authors alone. Hello my friends, this is your friend Iggy back again. So you're seeing on my screen right now, OBS. Now you're seeing me on the camera and all this stuff because right now I'm using my external capture card to record my monitor so that I'm not recording right now with OBS, I'm actually recording from that. So I've been struggling for some time to get the perfect OBS settings. It keeps stuttering, it keeps looking all blocky, everything just looks really bad. I've done everything everybody recommended and well you can see the video I posted up on Monday and it was horrible. I fixed it, I finally got everything and I'm going to show you guys exactly what I did. So right now you can see Streamlabs up, it has all of my settings, so you definitely want to make sure you save all the settings. So you see right here, here are all the settings. What you don't want to do is have them... get deleted. It doesn't matter, because right now I'm just going to close out of OBS, and... Let me close out of that again and just make sure all this is gone. And let's try opening it again. Okay. So now I'm going to close that. Now it's asking me, Auto Configuration Wizard, to start it from scratch. You can click yes. Doesn't matter too much. Because, and then I'm going to show you guys for a recording. If you guys want to see streaming settings, let me know in the comments below. Also, if you want to see Streamlabs OBS settings, let me know in the comments below. I'd be more than happy to show you both. Okay, so then here I'm going to choose Recording and Next. And doesn't matter, I'm just going to choose Next here and Apply Settings. Cool. So now I'm going to click on the plus here under Sources. Then I'm going to select Video Capture Device. And then you can name it if you want to name it. I just choose Defaults and click OK. Okay, now this is my webcam and you can see all the garbage behind me. Well, my kid's desk and everything. But, I don't want that coming up in videos. So, how do I hide that? With XSplit VCam. Awesome piece of software. Okay, so now you can see me here. Cool. So now I'm going to click the plus again under sources. And I'm going to select display capture for my video, for my monitor. Uh, and then click OK or name it whatever you want to and click OK. All right, so I only have the capture uh, card connected to the video card connected to my monitor. So you only see one monitor. Um, I'll fix that in a second. So I'll click OK here. All right, so now, and let me move that down here. And now you can see everything in infinity. All right, cool, or infinity. All right, so now what I'm going to do is actually let me show you all the settings so now I go into settings so that was the easy part settings now we go into there's nothing we do under general streaming we're not doing streaming right now so I'm going to skip that we want to go to output so because I have uh, EVGA GeForce RTX 2080 XC Ultra card I'm going to select out here for output advanced because I'm going to be changing things uh, under encode oh I'm sorry, we go to recording, then we choose advanced. Let me go back here and make sure. Okay. And then, um, all right, so here we leave that default. Change the recording format. I like to change it. You can use FLV, you can use whatever. I like to change it to MKV. I use Media Player Classic. It has all the codecs for all of these. So now I'll go to encoder. Because, again, I have that video card, it is, um, they made a brand new codec for it, the NVIDIA NVENC H264 new. If you have uh, maybe a 9 series, the 10 series also works for new, but if you have the 9 series or below NVIDIA card, you want to choose NVIDIA NVENC H264 or even X264. Uh, if you have AMD, I believe the AMD one shows up here as well. But again, I'm going to choose the new one. All right. So under rate control, I'm going to choose VBR or variable bit rate. 
I'm going to choose 50,000. I know that's high, but I want it to be great quality. And then I'm going to choose max bit rate, double that, so 100,000. The keyframe interval, I'm going to move to 2. And then for preset, because of the video card again, I'm going to choose max quality. Now, if you start noticing stuttering or whatever in the game, you're going to want to lower that until you get, you know, perfect video. Profile, I'm going to keep that on high. I am not going to check, so leave unchecked, look ahead. Make sure there's a check under cycle visual tuning. And leave max B frames set to 2. And actually, okay, I'll put that down too. And then max B frames set that to 2. So now for audio. Now, I have that everything defaulted in Windows, so I don't need to change it. But just to show you guys, I go under Desktop Audio Device, and I choose Headphones to Alienware AW988 Game. There you're going to choose whatever headphones you may have USB-wise, or if you only have 35 millimeter, select Speakers, Sound Blast, or whatever you have. Okay, and Mic Auxiliary Audio Device. I'm going to choose two Alienware AW988 chat. These headphones are awesome. All right, and we're not done yet. So now we'll go to video. Base canvas is the resolution of your desktop. So you leave that whatever resolution you have. I have the Viatech GM35 DR monitor, which is awesome. It has a resolution of 2560 by 1080, the native. Now, it looks perfect for me. I don't have any bars or anything, but if I record it and upload it, then you are going to see bars. So, so that you guys get a full video, I'm going to put this at 1920 by 1080 and output. That's the video you guys are going to see that gets recorded onto my hard drive and then I upload. I'm going to set that also to 1920 by 1080. Now, again, because of the video card, you're going to want to choose under downscale filter, Lanxos sharpening, sharpened scaling 32 samples. Now, if you started noticing also stuttering or anything along those lines or poor video quality, you're going to want to lower that maybe to bicubic. And then now because this monitor is 144 hertz, I don't want to keep it 60. I want to put 144 hertz, but you can't do that here. So I'm going to choose common FPS values, fractional FPS values, then numerator, I'm going to switch that to 144. I don't think there's anything under advanced. No. Okay. There is, but, you know, make sure normal. You don't want the priority for this to be higher than the priority for the game. That's going to cause issues. So keep that normal. And what renderer DX11, that's fine. Apply and okay, so we're done here though. There's still a few more three more settings. I want you guys to take a look at Okay, so I hit Windows I and then here I type game Okay, I got a game bar settings Okay, this is going to be on and this is going to be checked by default make sure you uncheck them Okay, and then Windows I again game and now we'll go to game mode settings this is on by default and it both of those settings mess with the decoding the encoding and all that stuff so you want to make sure you keep that off okay so then we close that out that was a hidden one it took me a while to find that one okay so now we right click on the desktop we go to nvidia control panel now i had this before right over here set to on but that was causing some issues, keeping me at 60 frames per second, even though this is a 144 hertz monitor. And then also, I had it on in uh, Battlefield 5, but I should be getting 144. So what I did was, I left this to use the 3D application settings, and then I disabled it in Battlefield 5. Okay, so I'm done there. I'm done with all the window settings. So now we're going to go into the game. So give me one sec. I'm going to reconnect all the monitors, disconnect the capture card, and then show you guys recording on the screen. So, one sec. All right, guys. So, now we have OBS up. And so, you see that there is no sleight of hand. I'm just going to show you guys all the settings again. A quick recap. Everything here. 1920 by 1080. Oh, recording. 
NVE and CH264 new, 50,000, 100,000 VBR, two max high psycho and two audio. You can see that stuff there. Video, 1920, 1080, Langsos and 144, and nothing changed here. Okay, so I just canceled that. And then this is all the stuff you saw me set already before the monitor and the webcam. All right, so now I'm super excited to show you guys this. Oh, not OBS. It's been killing me that I couldn't get this working for you guys. All right, and I'm going to move this off to the side and let's get started. So, one thing I like better about Streamlabs over OBS is they have called the performance mode. I can disable that screen so that I don't see it, but it's still recording. But whatever. All right. Top left-hand corner, you can see the uh, frame rate of the game. Okay. And I'm going to show you my video settings real quick. Now, one thing that killed me before was... I had DX12 enabled. It does not do good recording with DX12. I can play fine with DX12, but recording, it doesn't like it. Okay, then you'll notice VSync is off over here. Everything's set to ultra here. Okay, oh, and let me show you basic 1920 by 1080 at 144 hertz. So we're gold there. And now let's jump into the game. I'm only going to play one or two rounds, and I don't mean like full rounds, I mean till I die twice, which is going to take forever. Not really. <laughs> I'm super excited, guys. Uh, please do click like and subscribe. It helps me out a ton. And again, let me know if you want to see Streamlabs OBS as well, and if you want to see streaming as well, all the settings I would use. Right, fresh game. Oh wow, I never noticed the mold on the walls. Nice. What's funny is I noticed it on the other monitor, the recording. Look at that, it's so smooth. And the graphics look great too. I know we should be running out to the furthest point, but just giving you guys an example. I so love the Battlefield series. Yes, I like four a little bit more than five. But still, I like five. Look at that, how smooth and how beautiful it is. Now, mind you, because I did have to disable DX12, I don't get DXR, but whatever, it still looks great. Alright. Ooh. Great timing. Oh, they took care of him for me. Oh, there's a tank. I am one of the good medics. And that's okay. Just to show you guys how cool it is. Now I'm going to spawn somewhere else. Like, I didn't get any kills, man. Oh, well. Let's see. Do we have any other spawn points? Yeah, let's get over here. Ah! And I didn't kill him. Oh, 
Oh, you know, it was the kill assist. But anyway, that's it. Uh, quick round just to show – two quick rounds just to show you guys how it looks. I am super excited. Um, it looks amazing. Uh, but anyway, let me know what you guys think about the video below. If you have any issues, please do let me know. By no means am I an OBS expert, but I'll do what I can to help you guys. So anyway, do click like and subscribe and comment if you guys want to see Streamlabs OBS settings as well as streaming settings for both. All right, Iggy out. See you guys. Products in this video were provided to the author to do review. All opinions are 100% authors and authors alone.